All right, everybody. Welcome back to Tall Tales Custom Tackles. Uh, maybe you can hear me. Um, I, I know I had a, a comment on one of my previous videos that uh, could I turn the volume up. So maybe you can hear me. Um, anyway, I got the garage shut. So because the traffic is loud, um, only running one small. Well, I say small fan. I got a ceiling fan in here, just going just to help circulate a little bit of air. So hopefully you can hear me. Um, anyway, I'm going to try to do a quick little video here. I actually wasn't going to do a video this weekend. I was going, I, I needed to do something and then I was like, well, I can maybe get some content. Um, I had a friend send me a bait that, um, well, he contacted me uh, about a week or so ago and asked me, um, if I could color match, you know, this color. He said he had a worm that he can't find, the, uh, can't find no more. So... I told him I'll try it, so he sent me a um, he sent me a bait, and it's I don't see no problem with it, but I'll get close. Uh, let me turn the camera around so maybe you can see. Uh, see, if, come on, Let's see if you can see. It almost, you know, it almost looks like black grape but it is loaded and it looks so dark because it is loaded with so much flake. Uh, let me see if I can get it panned down a little bit. What I usually do on, and it's been a while since I've done a color match, but um, what I usually do with them, to be honest with you, and it's a little dirty. I mean, it's been laying on my bench for the last couple of days. Um, but see if I can wipe some of that dirt off dust anyway I usually do is I'll honestly take a pair of scissors and just try to cut it and I know it might be hard to tell on camera but I'll usually try to cut it and just see if I can tell how much you know like basically try to break it down in layers how much uh flake they have in it what different sizes and like this right here i can pretty much put it up and you know i can see through it a little better so and i know it's not showing up worth a crap on camera oh i do apologize but anyway it is loaded well it's got salt in it too so that changes uh the color in a little bit you can tell like when you when you look at it, because like, personally I don't run salt, but I might add a little bit of salt in these just to uh, get it closer. But it is got so much flake in it. It's got a small flake, like maybe a um, probably a zero, uh, point zero one five. It looks like some um, point zero three five square flake. Um, but it looks like it's got like a dark blue and then more of a lighter blue um flake in it but it is it is riddled with flake that's one of the things that makes it uh that kind of makes it dark I'm trying to get where you can see that's one of the things in my opinion that makes it look darker than what it is is it's got so much flake it takes away from being a little more translucent plus with the add the salt in it, you know, the salt makes the color a little more grainy. But anyway, anyway, that's uh what I'm gonna attempt to do is just get close to this. Um like I say I don't see it being a problem. Um it just really looks like it's a a dark um black grape loaded with flake, maybe a little bit of uh maybe a little bit of salt in it. Like I say, I usually don't run salt. Personally, on my personal baits, I don't run salt. Uh, just, I personally don't care for it. Uh, but being that this has salt in it, I might add a little bit to it just to try to get close to this. But anyway, um, I do have, I haven't heated it up yet, but I do have a cup and a half of, um, of plastic anyway I do have a cup and a half of plastic I'm gonna 
I'm gonna get that heated up. I'm gonna grab a few things, um, and then when we come back, we'll try to build this color. Um, like I say, no, it looks simple, but at the same time, I've said it before in some of my previous videos, sometimes the most simple stuff ends up being the most pain in the butt stuff. So um, anyway, I'm gonna let uh, cook this plastic. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know um, how to properly cook plastic. You don't just put it in there, cook it until it's, you know, you want to slowly heat it up, stir it real good, mix it up real good. Because if you don't, you'll end up with tacky, sticky bait. So the plastic won't be all the way, you know, heated all the way through. But anyway, um, we're going to attempt this. So, and I just got some six and a quarter inch uh, trick worm molds very very uh it's almost the same style bait so i figure what better way than to just make the same style bait anyway we'll be back when uh we got everything ready all right hopefully everything is in frame all right got some black grape and i always remember um what he's I don't know if you can see or not. It's showing now about one and three quarter. You know, I started out with a cup and a half measured um, when it was cool. So, one, like, as it heats up, it'll gradually rise and you'll end up with more. So just always be mindful. In other words, so don't fill it up, you know, say two full cups. And then, because by the time you heat it up and you add everything to it, it's gonna be real close to the top. All right. We're gonna start this off with black grape. Um, we're gonna see what uh, what it looks like. And I'm gonna keep up with my number count. Uh, so bear with me, I might be quiet for a second or I might say it out loud. Um, I'm gonna start off with some, just from Lure Works, some uh, Royal Blue in small and medium. Uh, I might add, it's a little bit lighter Royal Blue by Bait Plastics. Um, I also have some of this Navy uh, which is a real, it's a lot darker blue. I might add actually a, a little touch of it. Just depends on how it looks when I get started. All right. Let's see what 50 looks like. Be a decent start. All right, that'll be 75. Let's see what 75 does uh, from this point i'm gonna add my flake and go from there i'm gonna keep it up with this i'm gonna write it down as i go and then i can you know i can change stuff up as i want to oh let me look at this again yeah it's it's loaded with flake so all right so i'm actually on uh this is the medium, uh, 0 0.035. That's a quarter. That's a half. I'm just gonna start with a half right there. And like I say, it's so loaded. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quarter of the small to start with. And I can change it as I go. <clears throat> well, let's say it's, it's a, is loaded with so much. I'm gonna, it's darker. It's 
so you start with a quarter of that. Yeah, I think that'll be fine there. And I'm honestly probably not gonna put as much of the lighter in there. I might just put one just to see what that does. That's a good that's a good base to start with um and since these are trick worms and they already have salt in them i'm gonna add a very small amount of salt uh just for just for my mm, That's just a quarter of my little cups. <clears throat> Usually I like to sl uh, slowly pour it in, but I mean, I'm gonna be building on this color for a minute, so. Uh, and I'll look at, I might even add one or two drops of black. I'll set the black to the side just in case I wanna add a little bit of black to it. Um. But I will see once I once I get started. I know it, it looks like it needs to be a little bit darker. Let that sit for a minute, and I'll actually uh, see where I can put you. And put this back in the microwave for a minute just to hold temperature and heat it up there we go maybe you're not dizzy i don't use this very often uh usually i only use it when i need to try to like build a color and and see how dark i need to be um this is a little epic bait molds a little just i don't even know if they i've not seen them on the website for a long time so this might be something they they might can still make you if you're interested in one i actually got it from a uh from a uh a fellow bait maker so um which is kind of awesome of him so i'm probably wondering why i'm drinking coffee at three o'clock in the afternoon i just honestly like the taste of coffee <laughs> All right, let's see if that's been long enough. Oh yeah, see, it's gonna have to darken up a lot. But we're on the, uh, we're on the right path. I'm actually gonna stick that to the side. Let me move this camera where I can get to the, I'm actually gonna add a couple of drops of black to it just to see if that gets it where I wanted that. <clears throat> All right. I don't want much because I don't want to ruin it. Can you even see what's going on? All right, I just want to make sure. One, two. Oh, because I don't want to use, this right here, bait plastics, uh, is very thick. So it is, it don't take much. One more. And then we'll, we'll test it and go from there. And then decide what we need to do. It might need to be a little bit darker. But we're getting closer. That's all part of it. Put this back in the microwave, let it hold the heat for a minute. And it won't take too long, we'll, we'll test that and see how close that is. Now this right here don't look bad, but it was a little bit, 
light. The flake almost looks good. I actually, it looks like I need to add more flake, so I'll, I'll gauge that this next go around. <clears throat> it's so blue, like dark, that you don't realize how much flake is in it until you actually take, you know, the one that I cut and really look at it real good in the light. Um, it is just, let's see, it is just, it's hard to tell on the camera, but there you can see some of it. It is so much flake stacked in there. I, I definitely got to add more flake. Uh, even though I put a ton of flake in it, it's still probably going to need double what I put in it already. So, uh, that's a lot of flake. And honestly, that looks pretty good. Uh, it definitely needs more flake, but. And the more flake might thicken it up a little bit more. Let me write down black while I'm thinking about it. Let's get that out. We're gonna add a little bit more flake and let's see. I might have to put it back in the microwave another minute. Well, it, it'll be all right. It's still holding 317. All right, even though it's got a ton of flake, let's see here. I'm gonna. I'm actually going to put mm, one more of that. So let me change it. There we go. I'll put one more in this lighter royal blue. I say this color definitely has a ton of dang flake in it. Okay. There's a few colors I've made where it had so much flake in it, it was like, holy crap. You know, material wise, that's a lot of flake, you know. All right. I'm gonna look at this and see what that looks like. Let's see here. Just bear with me because I'm writing this down as I go just in case because if I get it dialed in perfect and I need to make more, you know what I mean? I, it won't be no problem because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this gentleman 30 of these uh, trick worms. So... Yeah. That's not... Quite hot enough for me to inject, but it's hot enough for me to to put it in here and and test it. Cause it's it's nice when you can what dial in the color before you start, you know, wasting a lot of time and you know injecting molds and stuff. You can just put it in this, try it out. Or if you don't have one of these and you got a mold that is um, got deep enough, you know, like the body of the bait is big and deep enough, you can actually just use it, like open pour a little bit, test it, and see if you get it dialed in. Um, you know, and the good thing about these, they go deep to shallow where you can see how dark it goes, The you know, the thicker points, you know, so how light translucent it'll be towards the tips. Um, it is a handy tool. Like I say, I very seldom ever use it, but it is nice in these situations right here. All right. Okay, let's see if that made any difference. 
Yeah, it's looking good. It's a little more blue. I need it a little more purple. You know, I want it a little bit more that purple look. Come here. And I'm gonna add a little bit more black grape to it. I'm trying to see if I can. It is pretty good though. I mean, it's got a little bit more blue than the purple, but it is very close. It is very close. I think it's very close. I say I'm gonna add a little bit more of the of the black grape to it. And it don't help that this bait is dusty and dirty, but yeah, it looks pretty decent. I am I'm gonna add a little bit more black grape to it just to just to give it that more. Let's see, we got let's see one, two, three. All right, there's 100 drops. <clears throat> it's pretty decent. You know what, I think we'll go ahead and inject one and see what it looks like. Uh, Compare it that way, and then I'll decide if I want to do anything different to it. It's at 300 degrees, so hopefully. And I don't know if my down ice maker would turn, kick on. Never fails. You got Chris Jones with his washing machine and me with my my damn ice maker all right top those on we'll see how these look and if i don't like how they look it ain't nothing to melt it back down they ain't, they ain't like laminated so but just far as looking at it it looks pretty decent from here but we'll know in just a minute when we pull them out and check it my scissors out. yeah this right here definitely got a little bit more of the purple look to it compared to this sample right here. So hopefully that, that um, little extra black grape I put in it helped it out. it is on camera but in here that ice maker is pretty loud Looking at the little, the little sprue, it looks close. I don't know if it's close enough for my likings or not, but.
where this screw is hollow right there a little bit. So we'll find out in just a minute. Oh, I've been tinkering with my boat a little bit. Um, well, I guess while I'm sitting here, I can talk a little bit about it. But, um, the last couple times I've, I went out, you know, it wasn't running perfect. It was just running, hmm, I ain't gonna say so-so, but it was just running. Um, you know, it's, I got a 2005, um, Mercury two-stroke Optimax um, 90. Um, you know, I swapped over from a uh, two-stroke 150 Johnson uh, a couple years ago or so to 90, and it runs great. Just the last couple times I took it out, it wasn't running that great, and then especially the last time, it was just running like crap, falling um, on its face, and I always start out every season with fresh when like I drain everything out and start out with fresh fuel. So uh, there's a store down the road from here. Um, I bought a lot of damn fuel from, you know, to top it off. It's got a pretty good size tank in it. So drained everything out. Uh, we topped off with, with new fuel and it's, you know, it was just not running great. I'm like, you know, it made me wonder if it was so I pulled the filters, checked the filters on it. No water, no trash, everything looked good. So I was like, well, hell, it must not be the fuel. I don't know. Anyway, my dad, he took his out and he's like, man, mine is running like, like garbage also. So anyway, drained all the fuel out. That, that fuel was like, now it smelled strong. It smelled decent. I didn't see no trash or anything, but it looked milky. You know what I mean? It had this yellowish milky look to it. I'm like, this is crazy. Brand new damn fuel, you know? So um, anyway, drained it out uh, in both, like his boat and my boat. Cause we bought the gas from the same location. So anyway, that's what I've been trying to do. Get all the old gas out, change the filters um, and put fresh gas in it today. And um, let it run, you know, put the, um, put the ears on it, let it run for probably a good 30 minutes in the yard, you know, trying to, you know, run some of that old gas out of it. Cause another thing I might, well, might not be much wrong with that gas. So I put some in my truck just to see, and my truck went to running like garbage. I mean, bloop, 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 you know, just running like garbage. So yeah, definitely bought some terrible damn fuel. So anyway, uh, buying my gas from a different store now. So hopefully I'm gonna take it out tomorrow, uh, run it, and hopefully uh, it'll start picking up and running better. Uh, Cause piss poor fuel makes for a piss poor running motor. Uh, anyway, let's look at these and see if they are are close or not they don't look bad but they they look more a little bluer than yeah they're a little bit more blue trying to get where you can see of course the fish ain't gonna be able to tell a difference but they're a little more blue they are very close though very close try to get where you can see this this other worm has a little bit more of a purplish tint but man they are close try to see it's a little bit I mean it's close enough it really let me angle the camera so you can actually see it's close enough it really is. It is hard to tell. I mean, with the human eye, you can. So, try to. Well, one thing, one bait, the other one is real thin. 
versus this one is a lot thicker. They're close enough though. They're they're not they're definitely not a hundred percent. It's almost impossible to get a hundred percent, but uh, I'm satisfied with it because they're they have that purple look to them when you hold them up. You know, I mean, they're definitely not a hundred percent, but they are they're close. So, I might tweak it a little bit the next batch uh, that I mix up. I'm going to tweak it just a little bit, try to get a little bit closer, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm going to say I'm, I'm okay with that. It is very close. Very close. All right, well, let's see. On camera, I'll make one more quick little batch of them, and then we will wrap this up. There's the other batch. Roll around. One more. One more again. And call it a day. Because uh, this right here is already mixed up. I don't want to keep on adding to it because I might take away from it a little bit, you know. So the next batch I do. I might tweak it just a little bit. Um, and when I mean tweak it, instead of adding three drops of um, black, I might leave that out and see if it shows the, the black grape a little bit more. But other than that, I'm satisfied with how it looks. I mean, it uh, it looks pretty, pretty darn close. And you gotta take, like I said, you gotta take in consideration the thickness of the baits. You got one bait that's about as half as thick as the ones I'm making, so that makes that one easier to, you know, to see through. Uh, but all in all, and hopefully the camera's picking it up where you can tell what's going on. Um, all in all, it was very close. Um, if I had to, without having their exact recipe, you can't get 100%, but I'm satisfied with that. That's probably close to a 90% success rate, in my opinion. Um, so it's pretty good. I definitely could... Uh, to spend a little bit more time tweaking it and really get it close um like where you can't tell the difference um but i think i think that's so close that it ain't worth tweaking and mixing too much more like i said i'm gonna i'll probably mix up one more batch um because i want to i'm gonna do um a few more in this color um so plus i need 30 of them this right here is 20 so mix up a little bit more and like i say the next batch i mix up i'll probably leave the three drops out and i believe that three drops of black will get it closer with that little more purplish look so anyway i'm satisfied with it hopefully you can hear me um, like I say, if you can't, I do apologize. Um, maybe I should just start when I come out here and do a video. Like that, that damn thing ain't been on all day. I've been in and out most of the day, you know. I've not been in here all day, but I've been in and out, you know, working on the boat, uh, 
doing chores around the house and stuff like that. So I've been constantly in and out and I've not heard it on all day. And so uh, apparently it waits. It waits on me to uh, get out here and start making a video before it starts. Damn, making ice. Which, whatever. I love my ice maker. I use it almost every day. So, um, anyway. Let's check this out. Then we will wrap this video up and close it. Because this video is already going to be longer than what I intended. Um, beautiful. Now that batch right there, maybe it's cause it, it sat a few more minutes. I don't know. It's crazy. The camera don't show what I, uh, don't show it in as good of detail as, as me sitting here like through the camera. It just looks almost black and blue. Like through the, through my eyes, looking at it like, Especially under a light, you can definitely tell that uh, that purple look to it looks really good. So yeah, it's definitely within 90% and I am more than satisfied. So uh, anyway, tomorrow I'm gonna run the boat. Wish me luck. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it won't get out there and fall on its face. Uh, I'm hoping the hundred dollars I spent on fresh fuel fuels expensive I had just spent oh hell I just put roughly a hundred dollars in it a few weeks ago and like I say that gas was just trash uh, I will no longer buy gas from that store ever again um, found this other one and so anyway hopefully it picks up and runs like it's supposed to. Uh, great run of the engine. So, but uh, anyway, wish me luck. I don't wanna have to paddle back to the boat landing tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, I do plan on having a few more videos coming out. Uh, I do plan on doing a few more of actual paint and crank baits, uh, just because I, you know, it's been a while since I, that's why I started out doing long, like, God. 10 plus years ago um and i do enjoy that you know uh, and i enjoy the tinkering around with this and everything else but i do enjoy the crankbaits um so i do plan on making a few more of uh you know the airbrushing crankbait style videos um anyway if you got any questions reach out uh if you got any suggestions whatever just reach out um, if you got questions, I'll try to answer them. You can always ask here, or you can contact me on my, my Facebook page under Eric Gilly, my personal page. Uh, you can try to get me on Tall Tales. I very seldom check that anymore. Same with Instagram. I'm, you know, I just very, I don't have time to get on there like I used to. So I'm, I'm not big on there. So if you got a question, just hit me up on my personal page. Um, other than that. Thank you for watching and we will catch you next time.